Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, two questions. How frequent is this done? It's open now. It's open. 24 7. This is their role. Yeah. Yeah. They so continue. Okay, they visit. They con <laughs> One thing that we didn't put here is that they police each other. Okay. They govern each other to say this road, when you look at the garbage, the garbage is near your house on this road. How did it come there? Mm. So if you see the garbage there, do something about it. If you see somebody drop it, do something about it. If you have thieves on this road, we have worked on the road, well, it's not worked on, but there are thieves. When you get a thief, make the alarm. Don't let people say, oh, that one, they robbed him and he left. No. Mm. Protect the road as a community. <clears throat> and that's why we have a suggestion box on this side. Uh, you yeah. put there your suggestion. It is close. How do you <laughs> get off the thieves? How do you <laughs> get off the garbage? One of the, the things that came out in a workshop that we were doing on fisheries in very poor communities was the inability or the lack of understanding among the communities how to create a collective voice to put pressure on the local political system in order to spend the resources. And they just didn't know how to do it. So if there is, apart from the affordance of bringing people together and also having a lot of the topics be visible so that you can add to what the other people have thought of, if there's a certain amount of know-how and process saying this is how you get your voices together, this is how you get heard, then you can actually have a, a, a system which will build confidence among the people as well. And you have yeah. the constant, you have somebody in the community who is decided to listen and bring to the discussion. Yeah. That's great. Excellent. So my last Very question. Nice. Yeah. So who minds the suggestion box? The community. The committee. It is chosen. chosen from the same community. But we don't put people who are managing the, 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 the suggestion box and, the, and that center, we don't put the report. The people are here and they need size. Uh, so what is the population size of this community? Very big. This is uh, group five and our task was uh, how might we get rural entrepreneurs? So the question was how might we get rural entrepreneurs to provide high quality education as a business? So we pictured a young person in the village. He has a plot of land that his dad gave him and it's pretty small. So we want to show him how he can turn it into a viable business by offering an educational service. So what we have is a, we call it a cafe? Cafe shop school. A cafe shop school, right? So what happens, it has different sections. So first, we, the, the entrepreneur is going to have to build a network with universities who can of, of, uh, uh, provide e-learning services. So in here we have kind of a cafe, an internet cafe, where the students can come in and attend lectures in the city just via computer. So in here we have a very nice high-powered computer room. Then out here, because we want uh, the role modeling to happen in the community, so the students who are <laughs> students from the community <laughs> when the university, when they come home on holidays, they act as interns. We offer an internship program. So they sit here, you can see them actually discussing with the children from the village. But now what happens for the children to come here, they have to pay some money because it's a, it's a business. The entrepreneur needs to make some money. And we realize that in the community, some people may have cash, some may, may also pay in kind. So back here we have a store. So if I have two chickens and I want my child to have a math lesson with an intern from the university. I bring my chickens and that means the entrepreneur can liquidate that and make some money and then split the profit, or I've split the fee with the intern. So the student who's coming home for the holiday is also making some money. But now what really happens in, inside here is where the parents and the elders and everybody comes to the cafe bit. So they're drinking tea as their children are being taught, or they're taking up the lessons, or there's a playground outside there. So it's a hive of activity, but what to bring everybody here is education. So my group members can add on. So hopefully the guy is able to make money from school fees, from partnering with the university, from liquidating hard assets, 
and from selling coffee and other things. And there's also a photocopy area here, yep. so where the students get uh, information from the net, they can download and print and photocopy, and he's still making some moment. Yeah, and there's also a mini bookshop whereby students and uh, interns can come and read and uh, at times buy the books. The idea is that while we want to keep this entrepreneur to be in his own business, at the same time we want him to fulfill his duty of uh, contributing to education. So it's like hybrid program where by education and business. And in terms of the brand, is it his own brand or her own brand? Or does it belong to some kind of a larger brand which gives them a cred credibility of a minimum standard? What is, are they Makerere University in a distributed community or what? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Like a franchise. Yeah, a franchise. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is. Yeah. We had a. Uh, there is one yeah. more thing. Yeah. Uh, the business, uh, the idea, the concept in which our business lies is yeah. we call it joint venture business. Yeah. Because we believe in that, uh, we, we, we envision that this, inter this is a rural person yeah. and he may not have all those insights of investing yeah. education. Yeah. So he has partners yeah. who are pushing him. Academia, we had academia partners and yeah. also microfinance. Uh, companies who are support. We also had a business cycle whereby these are rural community, they have agricultural, you know, those things. So there is an agro farm, agro, yeah. agro businesses, yeah. which are also buying the okay. products of this. The school fees that well, why, not, time. why not, if you're doing that, why not create another revenue stream, mm -hmm. which is yeah. if you're doing problem based learning, mm -hmm. solve the industry's problem mm -hmm. for a fee. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. get the students to solve.